What is up guys? Creative Corbin here again today and I have a special one today. Today we are going to be making this ordinary brass nut. It's not, not, not anything uh, different. Into this ring. Now I made this a little while ago and someone paid me to make them one. It's actually it paid me a long time ago. I, it was during school so I couldn't have the time to do it. But now, I shall begin on making the ring. So I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, please like the video, um, subscribe, and turn bell notifications on. And I will find a bipod or a tripod for this thing, and I will get the video started. All right, let's get this video started. Now, I'm sorry, I actually didn't know the camera was shaking that much until now, but it uh, should be better. Here is the ring after I've graded down, fiddle focus, most of the sides. Now that is just step one. It's pretty easy, actually. It already looks good. Let's see if I can get it to focus over there. There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't know the time. Oh, well. Wow. I did not know my finger did this either. I don't know if y'all see that. Hang on. It won't focus. Well, my finger is actually cut from the insides of this. The ring, the rings on the inside were actually cutting my finger. <laughs> I'm not bleeding and it actually doesn't even hurt. I'm pretty sure that was just, uh, you know, the dry layer of our skin. But yeah, that's, I'm almost done. All right, so, hmm. I got gloves. Uh, I'm no longer going to be cut, hopefully. Why the gloves? Should help quite a bit. Yep. Now this will thankfully, hopefully not, uh, shake the phone too much but here's what i'm going to be doing using a dremel this one if it'll focus i'm sorry guys can't focus and grinding out the inside like that just you know simply taking out the inside all right hope you enjoy the video My goggles are fogging up quite a bit, as you can tell. They're airsoft goggles, I'm not using them for the right purpose. Uh, I will show y'all how easy it is to do this. Already, I can wear this. It doesn't hurt. Now, the constant dipping it in the water is due to the fact it'll get hot. And I haven't been burned yet, but uh, you know, it's, I don't want to damage the metal itself. But yeah, it's actually turning out. Really cool. Tell the spike cranberry is taken in. So we'll keep on going. Getting close to having this, which I already explained before, this is my ring, I wear this all the time. It looks pretty sick, like I'm uh, pretty excited. And I think since I've already gotten the experience I need for making this one, I've actually made two, one for my friend and then this one for me. This one is turning out better because I've had practice. This one already looks, make sure it's not hot. 
looks so much neater. Even though I'm not finished, it's like rough. Yeah, but it's straighter. Everything is straighter. Like, I kind of want this one, but this is someone off the ring. And either way, I'm not going to give him this one and make this one mine. That's kind of rude. And also, this is the original. If that were, if I would want it to be mine, this is gonna be my bill. But yeah, we just gotta keep on going. And soon, once I'm finished with carving out the inside, I will round out the edges, round out the edges, and that'll legit almost be it. And then all I'll have to do is polish it and make sure it doesn't have anything rough like those scratches you see. Hopefully, if they're focused. But yeah. Stay tuned till the end. Okay, so I am almost done with the inside, but I just now realized it is uneven. This part is fine, but on the front, this part is thicker than this area. Uh, I will just fix that and I'll fix that too. But uh, also, I think his finger size, since he's a smaller, a smaller kid, though I think he's small. Uh, he's in the same grade and same age as me. But um, I think his fingers are about this size, and it already fits. But he said he does want some growing room, so I will make that adjustment after I wash my hands. Okay, wow. Um, I am about finished with the inside. I think it's time to move on to the outside. Almost done. Now this almost fits on my middle finger, so I think it should still fit in. Yeah. This is a good size word. Okay. Now for the outside, I shall be using the wheel, so the camera will be shaking a little bit more. Uh, I don't know how to stop that. Aside from like... Uh, yeah, I, I honestly don't know. But uh, yeah, so that would work. That's how we did the last one. And then for rounding out the inside, I would of course just go around on the inside. Am I even filming? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Standing up like this for a while. Uh, apparently, I guess the way I'm positioned doing this kind of tires out the back. Well, let's get started. All right. Well, okay, so, it turned out pretty good. It's really round out, like, that's a really comfortable ring. I like it a lot. You should like it a lot. Uh, so, yeah, so here's a closer look. Yeah, it's very scratched up, but once again, I will try my best to make that not as scratched. Now I had not rounded up the inside yet, so that's so sharp. But from the outside, it's nice. Fits my ring finger, so that should fit him. Now I wear my finger on this one, and it's still kind of big. I had made this one a little bit big. Now there's actually a huge color difference. That this one's kind of white. This one's more goldish. Now this one looks more like gold. Because gold isn't dark. Gold is like a light, beautiful. Gold is gold. You can tell if, you, if you've been around gold a while, gold looks like itself. It doesn't look dark and yellow. Now, I don't even know if I need this stuff. I think I do. Alright, next step is. After I pop that. Next step is. Uh, it's kind of hot in this garage. I thought it would be cold outside, but it's not. Grounding out the inside. So yeah, you should enjoy that part. Yeah, I should have been wearing eye protection. Pretty much true. Hopefully I don't know if they'll see all that dust coming off. 
Oh, I'm tired. Well, uh, I'm close. Very close. I think I'm done with actually making it not sharp. I think I'll work on it a tiny bit longer. But this is a thick ring, like, compared to mine, the thickness. Thickness isn't too bad. It's pretty thin, actually. But then the thickness compared to this one, it's huge. There you go. Oh, yeah, we'll see it. It's really thin, and then really thick. Now that just adds for a much stronger sounding brass brass ring. Brass is relatively soft compared to other metals, so this one could possibly bend. This one, it's not gonna bend anytime soon, unless you stomp on it or roll over with the car. Actually, either way, I don't think it'll bend. I'm making a strong ring here. But yeah, uh, I'm actually going to let y'all see a little bit of non-sped up film of me doing this. All right, well, um, I, uh, that's really tiring to do. I'm, my back is hurting again, standing up. But I hope y'all enjoyed that little short bit of me doing it without having it sped up. I will start again with going over the outside of this. Now, I will not show that part just to, sh just to save screen time or storage. So by the time the next clip pops up, this will probably already be smoothed out a little bit. All right, so we're almost done. Now I think all we need to use to smooth it out completely is using my nifty drum with it. This might work. This is like a fine bit. I'm gonna set that aside. And this piece right here is for the actual polishing to make it change color. Alright, let's get started. Open the garage back up, as you can tell, that's the difference. Uh, look, oh geez, I got powder in my nail. Definitely much smoother. You can almost hear it. You can almost see a reflection. Now, the problem is it got rougher, so I definitely will have to um, clean this up. I will not film that part, because, you know, it's kind of unnecessary. But yeah, all right, so my dad just came up with a cool idea. He's using like a polishing material this and once I let that dry I polish it off and that'll like really do the job so I'm hoping I'm hoping that'll work all right I think this thing dried enough that my dad said it'd be good to uh, go ahead and give it the finishing touches No way, guys, this is lit, oh my god. Holy moly. Guys, I'm gonna go wash 
finish this off and come back. All right, guys. Time for the finished event, the finished product. Here's my ring. I actually, I know it doesn't look the same. I just polished it. That is a nice polish. Sadly, I cannot do that with the other one because the sanding bit I had to smooth this one out completely was not available. It was worn down and really small. It was like that small. It used to be that big. And then here's the other one. Still looks great. The polishing helped quite a bit. It's a little rough. My fingers are dirty from using the polishing stuff. It's a little rough, but he's gonna love it. I think he'll like it. That's a definitely heavy duty ring. It's much thicker than this one. Definitely much thicker. You'll like it. I hope you'll enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more updates and uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.